So this morning I woke up to blacklight the garden to look for these guys. These are hornworms and when you blacklight when it's dark out with these guys they will glow especially when they are big like this. So these two were really easy to find. Yesterday I actually found four large ones, three of which were on this trellis here and I really had a feeling I was missing a few. I'm shocked I only found two this morning though but I'm happy about that. Honestly I spent the hour looking so I know there's, there's, pro I, I'm not going to be naive. I'm sure there's probably still a few I've missed, but they, they weren't doing too much damage. But with how bad our tomato year this year for just tomatoes has been, I really just didn't want to risk anything for the last few weeks before we get our first frost. So we are sitting what, like we are the fifth or the sixth of October today, I think. Uh, but either way, our first frost is around like the 15th to the 20th. So I also am starting to harvest a bunch of peppers as well. I did a bunch of bananas and serranos this morning. So bananas, I do not think I'm going to grow again next year. I have such a surplus of a harvest this year, and I still have harvest from last year that's downstairs. I've actually been fermenting a lot of peppers for hot sauce over the last few weeks, but I think I'm going to pickle these today. That way, I don't even have to worry about planting banana peppers in my garden at all because I don't really use banana peppers for salsa either. Um, and then that way I have enough pickled banana peppers for like pizzas and sandwiches and stuff like that for like the next few years and I won't even have to worry about it. And then serranos, um, I actually wanna ferment all of these serranos. I just wanna do a big batch of serranos cause I haven't done that yet. I'm just playing around with a bunch of different mixtures of different uh, ferment. I am actually disappointed I don't have more, uh, but these are red jalapenos, which is what you make to make a uh, sriracha, and I'm disappointed I probably won't have enough uh, red jalapenos to make sriracha, but we'll come up with something. Either way, I want to go give these to the chickens. It's always a fight on who wins. Yesterday, I finally got all of my seat starting stuff cleaned. Uh, it's definitely something I put off way longer than I normally do. It's probably my least favorite part of like starting plants from seed and gardening is just making sure your equipment stays clean and nice for the following year. It's definitely something I wanted to make sure I got done before it got even colder. And yesterday was a pretty warm afternoon. So I went ahead and got that done since it's kind of just a watery mess. But I do feel like the wind's going to be picking up today, so I want to make sure I get this in as well so none of these blow over. I feel like I'm always playing that, like, stat game when I do this. But I'm absolutely terrible. And...
my chickens are going to carve this pumpkin right here. So I saw a TikTok a few days ago of some chickens carving a pumpkin and I knew I totally needed to jump on this. I am gonna get this prepped a little bit. They're obviously not going to scoop out the inside, so I'm gonna do that for them. Then I'm also going to like pre-carve, not really carve, but I'm gonna scrape at the skin of the pumpkin to make areas where it's softer for them to peck so they gravitate toward that area and then they can carve the pumpkin themselves. I am so excited about doing this. I can't wait to see what they do. All right, you girls want the seeds? Here's your little pre-snack, come here. This is my worm farm and I have not checked the castings in it since restarting it back up and I think it's time. I was messing around with some of the worms yesterday and they were pretty big and they there was a lot in there and this is starting to look like it's needing to be emptied so fingers crossed. So the one thing with this system, this is a hungry bin system, is if it isn't completely full and it's not ready the whole system will fall through um which has happened to me at the very beginning but it was it was because i didn't lock these correctly but i do think this is ready so okay big breath Ow. oh my gosh no way okay holy crap that is so much Worm castings. Oh, this is so cool. So one thing I really wanted to do this year was to start worm farming, just so I would have a way to make like a fertilizer a lot easier than just my compost pile in the back. And I really, really wanted worms, but my first attempt was a complete fail. So, oh, this is really exciting. This is really loose and fresh and dark. Let me get you guys close up. Yeah, that is amazing. Look how, like, that is just amazing. So I'm actually going to save this for when I do my garlic planting in a few weeks because a few of the beds need amended and this would be a perfect amendment before we plant garlic here in a few weeks. I am so excited about this this is a it feels amazing it's so fluffy and it's so dark it's so new you can just tell it's so nutrient dense and this is really exciting Once I got all the castings into the bag, I really feel like that was like 25 pounds at least. That's no wonder this thing looked like it was about to burst. Uh -huh. 